At the beginning of our meeting, I check each tech's equipment and vehicle. Um, we also organize our all of our crates a certain way, and all our techs should have each crate organized the same way. Probably the most important part of the checklist, making sure that the equipment that we clean carpet with is both clean and in working order. Since our techs are the face of our franchise, uh, it's really important for us both to look our best and uh, to act our best. Um, both be respectful to people um, and also be dressed in a manner that's you know presentable to our customers. Um, they're trusting a complete stranger to come into their home um, and do an excellent job. Um, so the better we look and the better we act, the more comfortable they are to have us in their home. When we come back, going green, can your small business profit by turning eco-friendly? We're going to talk with the CEO of one business who says it is working for him. That is ahead on Fox Business, giving you the power to prosper. My next guest company is making some real green with this eco-friendly cleaning company. Joining me now for this week's Small Business Big Ideas segment, Jonathan Barnett. He is the founder and CEO of OxyFresh. Carpet cleaning, but without the toxins, correct? That's correct. We are a green um, carpet cleaning company. We're a franchise, and I love what I do, and it's been a lot of fun. Well, the fact that you're only using 5% of the water that a normal... Yeah carpet cleaner takes I think is fascinating so that was a good move on your part it seems for the yeah industry. I mean it's exciting I mean, the typical carpet cleaning company can, um, can use over 40 gallons to clean a house and here at OxyFresh we use two gallons and wow. yeah, here's a little visual for you that you know we clean a whole house wow. with around two uh -huh. gallons where some other carpet cleaners have to use 40. I have a 